What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the town. Tig Rob, hey, can you have another worst online? <laughs> I'm trying something a little bit new. I've been experimenting with this with a couple other videos, although I don't know if they've been uploaded yet. Green screen background. So hopefully it's all going to turn out and I'm going to have proper lighting and stuff. Because if I don't have proper lighting, the background won't be invisible. But anyways, hello. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I have been working on our village. Oh, yes. Uh. But I was saying ort. It's like ort. <laughs> Sounds like a weird horse noise. But anyway, I've been building, I've been building, I've been building. I have finally found some time to build. Slowly repel down. Ooh. I didn't even know that I set that house up. Oh, we don't even go low enough. Uh, so... What I ended up doing was just building on the village here. I set up like this I'm pretty sure is new which I should actually throw Where is our shovel? Okay, we have our shovel. Where's our dirt? There we go I just want to throw this in real quick before I end up forgetting Because I've been busy. I have been busy. I finally got uh, a couple hours to myself today where I could well like the the way that I got build in this game is when I'm not recording and the only time I'm not recording is when there's lots of noise and stuff going on in the background and yes look at this isn't that beautiful you know what I'll get rid of I'll just leave our HUD out of the way so that we can experience the beautifulness I'm quite proud of what I did now first we will start with the basic things yes so first of all this path goes all the way up into the caving system which I have mentioned this cave system over here but I never really showed it off there's not really much to show off whoop uh oh <laughs> I didn't oh no where is the blah 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 there we go okay geez anyway this is the caving system so I should fix that drop right there that's for sure and maybe make a path that goes all the way through I don't know maybe it goes to another town or something like that I don't know we'll see <laughs> but otherwise I've just been spending the majority of my time just decorating and making the houses and stuff and I've just been I've, I've been stretching my imagination trying to make any type of house that I can uh, first of all, you'll notice here that I took away our big ugly sword dude. It just wasn't really working out And instead I made these little fountains, which I think that they I think that this works out Two fountains for the price of one and it's got the blue stone in the middle of it Just because it makes it flashier and at night time. It's ominously pretty Here's our brick house, which I actually touched up by putting wood paneling on the bottom and I fixed up the roof a little bit I think maybe I did maybe I didn't Maybe I didn't, but I fixed it up and made a little bit more glass. The glass windows are two instead of one. And then I made this little Chinese Asian oriental style house, kind of. Uh, that's kind of what I was going for with this one. The roof, ah, it's okay. I I've been experimenting with the typical type of roof that I used to make or that I've been making. Like it still is my favorite type of roof to do something like that where it arches out at the top tips. But, yeah, this one worked out because it kind of looks like it's a bird head or something like that. I never realized, too, that that means you could probably make a pretty cool, like, uh, origami pixel art or something like that. I don't know. Over here is a treehouse house. Yes? Treehouse house. Which I need to make a proper path that goes to it, by the way. Because the way that this one works is you have to grapple in. <laughs> Get in there, you fool. You have to grapple in, otherwise you can't get in. Plain and simple. And then I made a nice little balcony that goes along the outside of it. It's gonna be nice when this game actually implements some nice blocks, including like doors and stuff. I mean, that's that's one thing I gotta say about this game is Minecraft already exists, so hopefully it's not going to take them as long as Minecraft did to implement blocks that should already be standard issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm just taking screenshots. Uh, I guess we'll look at this house. So this one, I just went as crazy as I could with the roof. And it looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like the top of a helmet, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. And it's okay. It's not bad. It's more inventive than something that I've usually done. That's as far as a roof is concerned. These windows, though, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, you know what? I think I got a better idea for these windows. They should probably... If we just do this and take it down one. Because I've actually been using... 
like with a lot of the houses, I've had the windows two, two on its ver vertical surface. It's been one, two. So it'll be nice, a nice variance. Yes, that actually looks much better. Plus then the windows don't go into the roof because otherwise that's two windows that's two windows now this is two windows horizontally rather than vertical this house i just kind of fluked but i am quite proud of it i got brick on the bottom wood on the wood and wood <laughs> and the roof and blah 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 i was just trying to make this a bigger house i've also tried uh varying up the flooring in each of these houses this one the flooring is not the best but this block in itself, like, it takes forever to mine this. So, yeah, I didn't even bother clearing it once I put it in and it was like, ah, that's okay. Here's the little shed in the back, which doesn't have any light in it. That's on purpose because I don't want it to. A little path that goes along the side into this entrance of the house. And then there's an attic to this place too, just for kicks. And I kind of like the details that we have going on up here. I like pulling these logs out where it kind of, you know, uh, gives it a bit of a 3D effect, even though it's kind of pixelated and all bent out of shape and stuff. And then we get these cool scenic view building shots, which really cool. I like it. I'm satisfied with it. Use the wool. And I kind of have been trying my best to make the, the village kind of a transition in the way that it's built. So there's wool inside this house, although you can't see it outside. And then there's wool uh, for the roof of this house. Whereas, I mean, the majority of the roofs, by the way, I've just been using this dark dirt just because it seems to be my favorite out of all the blocks. This house we'll get to in a minute because I'm actually quite proud of that when I just finished it. Uh, but as we go further along this one, the roof, I tried to do something a little bit different. This one is definitely my most oriental style house, I guess you could call it. That That's really what I was going for, especially by using the bouncing red blocks, which is a nice sharp red appeal to it. Red carpet on the inside, which is just red dirt, standard stuff. Uh, also, I do want to point out that I've been so paranoid. I, I wanted to record this as soon as I built all of this stuff. Because I'm so I'm so worried about griefers now, especially with there being no way to actually craft beacons or anything yet. Like I really hope the developers put that in properly soon. Cause I don't know. It would be very convenient. I would love it, but I I don't know if I could actually like ask the developers, can you put a beacon around this whole village? because <laughs> that would be nice if they would but I don't know if they would I already asked them before I never pointed this out where they're going to put a beacon around the scythe castle at least so that's okay I, I still like I don't like claiming so much of this area but I would love it if we could claim this entire mountain because the mountain is what makes the castle I I could care less about the castle itself it's the entire mountain on just all on its own you know and then on top of that this village would be very nice to claim too. Uh, I also cleaned up these leftover trees, but I kind of left them because I like them being on the outskirts of the town as a kind of, see the nice blue over there because of the fountain? Because it kind of looks like bushes, I guess you could call it, right? Uh, also, I don't think I did much of anything over there yet. No, I didn't add anything to the houses over there other than just cleaning up the buildings or the bushes, I should say. And all I did to this house was I added a proper staircase up to the second floor, if you want to call it that, which why not? This house I'm particularly proud of. I think that is one of the coolest ones that we've made. <gasps> Bloop. Even though these are all night shots. It's always nighttime when I'm recording. I don't know why. But this one, I guess I was kind of going for more of a, uh, I, I at first was just making it a bigger type of place. And then it kind of turned out as, I guess, a bit of a church or a chapel or something like that. One of the kind of bigger, more elaborate, like a community house or something like that. I still haven't actually put in the flooring because I just finished this and I forgot. Uh, but this one I tried to make very elaborate, as you can see with the checkerboard type of lighting and stuff. And then we did this exact same thing over on this floor. Uh, ooh, let go. There you go. And then just i mean you can see it for yourself where i kind of i kind of did the same thing like this this is from the bottom stairs but it also makes this room nice and lit up as well as this this i really like about this i just kind of fluked this which i should actually put in a let me see here nope there we go that's better then i was just building the roof 
And then I kind of got the idea, hey, I should add like a secondary roof tier thing, right? And then I was about to put glass windows here and then I thought, no, let's have a door onto the roof because it's a big enough roof that it would need maintenance or something like that, right? And this way we can grapple our way around. Now this right here is just a standard. I've already made one of these uh, before, I think. I think I may have actually showed it in our first episode. Way over when we were in the desert, I ended up, ooh, grappling hook, please, there we go. I ended up making one of these, it's just a standard tower. Uh, before I ended up building this house, it was the tallest building that we had. And I did that on purpose because I wanted this to kind of be a guard tower, let's call it. You know, where you can kind of scout over the whole town and see what's what. Which, it, this building kind of blocks it, so maybe I'll have to push this tower to be a little bit taller, unfortunately. Just for my own sake. I wish there was ladders in this game. Uh, but at least we get a good scenic view at all of this stuff, right? So, it works. And even if we can't really see past this house, we can go to this angle, and then we can see it. So, maybe we won't. Maybe we don't need to. But the point is that this is supposed to be like a guardhouse. And if we can't see, like, view over the whole village, then how is it a guardhouse or something like that, you know? Now, anyway, besides all of that, that is pretty much everything that I have done. So I have been very, very busy. It might be quite some time before we end up getting another Ort video out. Just because I don't know if I'm going to have time to record another episode like this. Just, it's, it's not that I don't have time to record it. Get up there. It's that I don't know how much time I'm going to have to build because I have been very, very busy and only gotten this much. So, yes. But anyway, you know what? I was trying to go up to our castle so we could get a good scenic shot. But you know what? That's okay. Woo! We already get a scenic enough shot from up here. Whoa! Almost fell off there. Bloop! There we go. That actually looks really cool. I like that. But anyway, we're going to call it here for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smack that like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. I really would appreciate it. Sign on and stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.